said, ooh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> um, like I said, we're a band called Graver's Lane. We are from here, Wilmington, New York, Delaware, general area. Um, <clears throat> those first few songs are the first few songs off an EP that we put out back in January called Natural Crimson. Um, uh, that first song is called Beautiful Aspiration. Um, it is about sitting in a shady grove. Um, some of y'all could probably say this for me, actually. Uh, it's about sitting in a shaded grove, watching the willow trees sway in the wind. It's also about watching the love drain from someone's eyes. That second song is called, uh, second song is called Waiting. One second, sorry. Um, yeah, the second song is called Waiting. Um, it's about being over around, around people that you don't really like, um, having to be around them anyways. However, on that note, uh, today marks the second day of Pride Month, which is typically around people that you do like. Um, <clears throat> Pride is something that um, means a lot to me, um, and I'm really happy that we're able to uh, play a show during this one, to so talk about it, um, and just hang out in general. Um, it's really important to me that our band overall is a safe space for um, people of all identities. Um, so, yeah, um, come hang out. Um, it's Pride in Philly today. Specifically, I'm going to be going back. I don't. Um, I live in Philadelphia personally. Um, I am from Delaware, so don't call me fake. Um, <laughs> I'm going to be going up there later to um, celebrate with all of them. So, yeah, um, appreciate yourself, love yourself. Don't be afraid to acknowledge a part of who you are, um, because it's you, and that's beautiful. Uh, this song is called Parking Lot. It's a little bit older. <laughs>
So, we have been a band, um, as you can see, uh, for about a little over four years now, uh, which is really cool. Um, it was four years, I think, back in January. Um, over that time, we've had to record a lot of music, um, meet a lot of really cool people, and also um, play a lot of really cool shows in a lot of different places. Um, that being said, we are only able to um, do such a thing, go everywhere, and also just exist in this state here um, because of the, um, <coughs> uh, the genocide and displacement that um, indigenous peoples across the United States have experienced for the past couple hundred years. Um, it's really important for us to acknowledge that um, and bring attention to that, um, again, as we go to different places and play shows around. Um, <coughs> after the set, after the show, if you get any chance, if you walk um, over by where the front doors are, um, you'll see some of our other merch set up, but you'll also see a QR code um, that you can scan. Um, it'll take you to um, a document with, with a list of links where you can find more information on the uh, Lenape people who um, inhabited this area. Um, you can find information on them, you can find links to donate to some of their organizations, um, as well as to Palestinian Relief. They are experiencing the same kind of displacement and genocide that uh, people in this land experienced when colonizers first came here. Um, and so again, it's really important for us to um, call attention to that and do what we can. Um, so when you get the chance, please go check that out. We've got a, really cool, um, a lot of really cool stuff on it. Um, got some more for you. This song is called Fireworks in the Valley.
<laughs> so we are back again at Rainbow. I wanted to thank Melissa and everyone involved for setting this up. Very much appreciated. Make sure you guys stick around. There's a couple other really cool bands coming today. I believe Arms Like Roses is up next. Um, and I'm not sure who's going after, but I know that Granger and Leon, Leon are playing afterwards as well. Um, I believe that this is the last day of one of their tours. So I'll make sure Sean gets home. <coughs> um, before we move on, one second. <laughs> Um, before we move on, um, can I ask you two to come over here next to me, please? Um, everyone, this is Theo. This is Parker. Um, give a round of applause. How many people are better than that? Um, Parker um, shows up pretty much all the fucking time um, for this scene. And that's something that we really appreciate. Um, he does um, a lot of posters and things for a lot of different bands. Um, comes out to the most show, fucking shows that I've seen. Um, he did, he did. Um, and uh, also advertises us on his own time. <laughs> um, so I wanted to say that we appreciate you. Theo um, has been here since fucking day one. Um, I love you, man. You've shown up to so many of our fucking shows um, and shown so much excitement um, just around us, around us in general. Um, Theo did one of the first interviews that we did, um, which you can find on their site, uh, which is, is it Kilpis? Kilpis, Kilpis dot Wix. Um, follow them on Instagram, really cool. Um, so yeah, we just wanted to say that we, um, we want to say thank you to both of you guys, and we appreciate both of you. Um, we have shirts. Yeah. Thank you guys again. Um, hope to see you around a lot longer. Now that shit's out of the way. <laughs> Just kidding, we love you. Um, we have two more songs for you. An old one um, and a new one. Um, this song is called Nemo.
last song for you. Uh, this song is called Deer in the Headlights. It is a last song off of our 18 Natural Crimson. And the song is about when we die. Yeah.